Thank you, Mr. Speaker. House Bill 525 expands the Community Health Worker Program to create a statewide system of individualized education and navigation through a Medicaid state plan amendment or potentially other braided funding models with using um, state and federal dollars and possibly public-private partnership opportunities. We have worked with the Cabinet to allow some flexibility in um, the often complicated funding models. But this legislation also addresses the healthcare worker shortage by partnering with KCTCS to award college credit for a community health worker certification and expand, expanding then the career opportunities and pathways into healthcare related fields of study. Community health workers are certified healthcare workers who are embedded in prim primary care clinics, health departments, FQHCs, community mental health centers, hospitals, and more. They work in and they know the people in their communities and where they live. Community health workers are trained health educators. They're navigators who meet individuals where they are in their health care journey and help them navigate sometimes a, a really daunting health care system. They provide help as diabetes educators, managing asthma, high blood pressure, and other chronic diseases. They also can simply help folks understand things like insurance forms and prescription regimens. We know that there are many reasons why people don't get the preventative care and are not compliant with their managing, managing their chronic diseases. And so what this does is puts in place a way to help patients stay on track with their, their treatments, uh, to figure out how to pay for their medications. They can help provide support for addiction treatment. They can help with transportation, housing, clothing, and, and referral to other resources that people might need just to be able to get to the doctor. Sometimes people are fearful or embarrassed to go to the doctor. Sometimes they have difficulty with health literacy, such as, like I said, understanding those prescriptions or simply an insurance form. And sometimes they just need someone they trust to help them get the care that we know they need. So despite having access to private insurance and Medicaid, there are many reasons why individuals don't access their health care, especially in high poverty areas. Um, Kentucky has expanded Medicaid to 138% of the individuals um, living under 138% uh, of the federal poverty level and even higher during COVID with presumptive eligibility. Right now in Kentucky, one-third of our population, or 1.6 million citizens, are currently enrolled in Medicaid. Despite these numbers and our more than $12 billion Medicaid budget, Medicaid's overall health metrics have not improved. We still have high rates of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancers, you name it. We are on the high end of these uh, comorbidities and high um, rates of, of chronic disease in Kentucky. So what this bill does is becomes a more targeted use of our Medicaid dollars. We need to follow, we need to use our Medicaid dollars to fund programs that we know work, and that's what this does. Um, the Kentucky Home Place study through the Kentucky Office of Rural Health at UK has successfully piloted community health worker programs throughout the state for the, about the past 20 years, but they're in pockets. And so what we want to do is expand this very successful program. The Kentucky Rural uh, Home Place Study has shown an $11.30 return for every $1 spent on Medicaid. More and more um, of our health care providers are using community health care workers, but they are not a reimbursable service at this time. So we hope to expand this navigation system through the state. Oh my gosh, what else can I say about this? <laughs> So that, Mr. Speaker, 
is what we seek to change with this legislation. If there are no questions, I move passage of House Bill 525.